I feel like I took out the number one seed in the first round. Big hit wow. I did not come here for second place. When I signed on the dotted line, it was all about go big or go home. Yeah. I've been overcoming the odds my entire life. I was three years old when I was first diagnosed with leukemia. The doctors gave me a 50-50 shot to live. Kids have reached out to me, kids with cancer. In the last few weeks, they've been telling me how I've been giving them hope. I got a letter from a little boy's school psychologist. That little boy is fighting for his life. He's fighting cancer. I do know what Jacob's going through. I guess that's what touched me the most. I had to respond. So I sent him a glove from the Diego News fight. When I saw the picture that they sent back of him holding up the glove, I know now that I'm making a difference. I think there's a great chance that Jacob's gonna be watching the fight tonight. I hope he will be. And Jacob, if you are watching, I wanna let you know to keep battling, keep fighting no matter what. It's one of the main reasons I'm fighting now. It's, it's not just for me, it's for all the sick kids that are out there. I wanna give them hope. Oh, good run here by Bissette. Now Bissette pounces. Yeah. the win of his life. Friday, it's Russia's greatest fighter battling the American bad boy. You want this belt? Come get it. When Alexander Shlomenko puts the middleweight world title on the line against Brennan Ward. That belt's come back to America. And we kick the night off with Kendall the Spider Grove battling Brett Cooper. Oh! Bellator MMA live Friday at 9 on Spike.